What's up guys, Icebreaker here. Today is sneak peek time for this year's firework crab. As you can see the trophy right there, it's legendary three. Trophies are still at the same stage as what they always are, 10, 20, 40, 60, and 70. You can only get the legendary if you've already got the diamond from the previous year. We say this every single month. Statues on this one, I would recommend for just an everyday general player, uh, something like this, which is five GBE for troop damage and three troop health will be absolutely fine for just the regular joe who's trying to get to stage 70 say or, or 60 for the diamond or what, whatever it be this combo right here or something similar to it you'll be absolutely fine uh, you can see the boosts underneath me there underneath the thumbnail there uh, stages one to nine we're going to get 50 percent troop health and then stages 10 to 19 is 50 percent troop damage and then it's 100 percent troop health there's 100% troop damage, 150% troop health, 150% troop damage, 200% troop health, and then 200% troop damage from stage 70 onwards. At which point you could, if you're pushing, you know, drop some of your troop damage statues and put them back down more troop health because that 200% troop damage boost that we're going to get from every stage anyway is going to be huge. So you, you get more value out of troop health statues at that point. Um, so something to keep in mind if you're planning on pushing. As for troops on this one, uh, I think the general everyday all scorchers is going to be most people's go-to. Obviously some TBM, RZCM on the ones that have got minimal splash damage and stuff. You know, it's just going to be a normal everyday crab um, with, you know, half decent boosts. Um, the tribes are, it's barrage damage is pretty good. Um, that would definitely help. Medkit healing too help if you be using the loadouts like TBM. Um, you know help keep those gramps in the fight. Grenadier damage. If you haven't got gramps yet, then you want to be boosting that because that's good for crab. And then medic healing obviously is going to help it for those loadouts. Like I said, RZCM, TBM, those types of deals. Uh, so they're not they're not super bad. They're they're all right. You know it's not it's not the best, but they could be worse too. You know. We have also got all of the temporary combat abilities. You can see on stage 81, it's speed serum. Now, the GBAs are going to rotate on every single stage. Every single stage is going to have a different combat ability, um, so which is really good. Uh, hacking the core won't work. I've tried. Try it every time we get the chance, but it doesn't work still. So, yeah, boo. Not much, really, much more to go into. I can show you some attacks, but you've seen them all before anyway. If you want some tips and tricks on how to beat um, the mega crab in general every month i will link a video in the description i will pin it in a comment and stuff um, for you to go and check out the how to beat the mega crab video that i made back when i was pushing for the leaderboards and stuff uh, that video there has helped loads of people get new personal bests they've hit stage 100 for the first time and all that kind of jazz so if you want to learn how to do better on crab i will leave a link down there for you to hit on your way out don't forget guys to plug our creator code bbtfrg in the creator boost box it does help little by little every little bit helps and we do really appreciate it so thank you for doing that if you do it leave us a like and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more boom beach content i will catch you next time guys happy crabbing